Hey guys, it's Will from EDM Tips. I'm gonna go a bit off piece today and I'm going to be reviewing a plugin by a company called Baby Audio and it's called the Super VHS. Now I'm not affiliated with them at all and I don't usually do plugin reviews so let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you want me to review more plugins or stick to my usual format? Right, let's do it. Super VHS is an effects plugin. It creates a kind of organic, wobbly, reverby sound that's great for things like synthwave and new disco. So without further ado, let's hear it in action and jump into the door and get it done. Okay, so here we go. I've got this, these stems that I've loaded in of a track that I've been working on um, for a producer called Conway. So I'm gonna stick some of these Super VHS plugins on. So first thing I would go do is go to plugins, audio units, or you can install them as VST of course. Go to baby audio and then I've got the Super VHS. So let's listen to the chords on their own at the moment. These are my chords. Lovely seventh chords. And I'm gonna just stick one of these Super VHS on and let's open it up and have a look. Okay, first thing, you can't resize the interface. It doesn't really matter because there are so few controls, it's pretty simple. You know, for something like an equalizer with a spectrum analyzer, being able to resize it is essential nowadays. Um, but this is fine because there are only a few controls. So let's stick it on and see what happens. Ooh. Lushness. So let's turn everything off and, and check out what's going on. So, okay, so we've got the output here. We've got the mix here. So that's 100% wet, that's 100% dry. Let's start turning on some of these effects. So we've got heat. Which is some kind of saturation just for warming up the sound. That's quite a nice effect. And then we've got wash, which I assume is some kind of reverb. Oh, what's this magic thing? Oh, I'll press that in a little bit. Let's press wash first. I'll turn off this uh, side chain compressor so we can hear it. So it sounds a lot. It's, it's got a kind of organic ring to it. I'm going to gain stage. So that's off, and this is on, and now let's put some of this drift on, Ooh. which is like pitch, pitch adjustment, it's like a tape, well it's super VHS, so for you millennials, VHS is a form of tape, we used to watch movies on them, and they were a bit shit but they can give a cool effect to audio. So static is, um, it's just the addition of some noise as you would have on a VHS machine as well. So it's kind of for like a new wave, 80s synth wave type audio. So let's turn it off. So listen how thin that sounds and we can take the output down a bit more so it's a fair test. You hear how full and rich it sounds, and then the shape thing is a, it's a bit crusher, basically. So you can add some crunch to it. That's cool. Okay, so let's see what this magic button does. I get the impression that it's just boosting all of those effects more to make it more pronounced. Okay, so it sounds good on, on, so yeah, if the static's on, then that's gonna continue regardless. So I'm gonna turn that off. Let's try it on drums. So I've got all my different drums here. I say mine, these are what Conway made, because um, this is the mix down session I was doing for him. So um, first let's listen to the drums without any of this VHS on it. Take it down so it's not clipping. So it's a ni nice drum kit. Um, and let's put this Super VHS on, see what's going on. 
Okay, I'll turn everything down. So let's add some heat. And make sure it's peaky at the same spot when it's off. Bit of gain staging. So it's peaky at minus one there. Turn it down a bit. So it's just adding some crunch. Some saturation gives it some crispiness so it's fatter with the super VHS on let's add some wash some bit crushing oh that's cool But I'd, I'd probably have that in a particular interlude in the track, not the whole way through. And try drift. And magic. Probably not so good for drums. Yeah, so add some nice crunch to the drums. And then the last thing I'm going to try it on is this bass line. So let's turn it off. So it really is um, a tool for, yeah, creating uh, some analog warmth I guess would be the best way of describing it so let's try it with our drums and our chords I'm just going to turn off all of the instances so off on the drums, off on the bass, off on the chords, and then let's hear what it sounds like with them all on. So that's with them all off. And now let's listen to them with them all on. Yeah, it's nice. So there you have it guys, that is the Baby Audio Super VHS. As I say, I don't get any like kickbacks or anything like this, it's just something they asked me to test out. I've got to say it's pretty cool. Um, I probably wouldn't use it in every single project, but projects where I wanted to imp import, impart, sorry, some analog warmth, a bit of movement, especially on things like pads and um, bass lines, well not bass lines unless I'm making some kind of synthwave track, but for sweeping pads and stuff, it just adds a, a nice richness to it, um, some analog warmth, and there you have it guys, you've heard the difference, you be the judge, if you do want it, the links to it are below. That is my review, leave me a comment below if you like this kind of thing, do you want me to cover more plugins? If you do, drop in the comments which plugins you want me to review, and I will see if I can make it happen. Until next time, thanks for watching, cheers, and happy producing.